Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. Matt with Green Bar Trading. We just got the Fed rate decision. We're listening to Fed Chairman Powell with his press conference. So what they ended up doing was 5.5%. So they kept interest rates the same. All right, so now that that's over with, um, I gotta say, most were already expecting them to hold the rates the same. We like to hear what Powell has to say. All right, that is uh, pretty important especially when something like this was already expected for them to, you know, keep rates the same. We want to hear where do they see the economy going? Where do they see, you know, future rate hikes or cuts or um, the labor market? Anything that he is saying, we want to pay attention to. All right. So as far as trading goes, because that's why we're here, right, to take advantage of these moves. Um, so that's what we saw. Two o'clock, we get that initial move. You can see here, we saw the market go from SPY 443.67, basically down just about two points. All right. So it's a pretty big move. A lot of money you're able to make on a move like that. But you don't know which way the move is going to go before that rate decision comes out. So you don't want to be sitting in a trade. You want to wait. All right. So a lot of times what will happen, the rate decision will come out. You can see here, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. You can see here, the rate decision comes out two o'clock and then it takes some time, but we retest exactly where we were. This is so common. A lot of people will trade this. All right. Not the initial move because we don't know which way it will be but they'll trade that move back up. Got back to that level and then started to break down. This is where I get um, excited about the trade. Once it starts to break down, after it already hit that previous spot where we were before the rate decision came out, that's when I like to take this short. That's exactly what I did here. Not saying that always has to work out, but Powell is not finished speaking yet. When he finishes speaking, a lot of times on Fed uh, rate decision days, after he's done speaking, that's when the trend will be more clear for whatever reason. That's just from my experience. So once I saw this, we got back to that uh, level here. Then I started to take the market short. I did take just one contract <clears throat> right here. I bought it for 43 cents. I flipped that same contract for 94 cents. So that's over 100% gain in that six minute trade. Not bad. This morning I took a trade here. You can see this was a very small loser, All right? This is a $4 loser. I like to keep my winners a lot bigger than my losers, all right? That's how you make money trading in the market. You want to make sure you minimize the losers, all right? What I've been trying to trade here are those zero days till expiration. Now on a day like this, those tend to hold their value a little bit because they're expecting the market to make a very big move. So that range will be wide, all right? So very good um, to trade this, but as we get closer to the end of the day, you don't wanna hold on to those for too long because they can expire worthless. So. You know, once those moves already happen, now it becomes a little bit more difficult uh, to make the money. But got in, uh, not bad. Let's see here. I want to show you guys how I have my screen set up. I have my one minute up here. I have my five minute down here. And then I load in the contract that I want right here. And that's pretty simple to do. So I'll just show you guys. You go to all products, you figure out which one you're interested in right click on it and then send to um, I had mine set as yellow, All right? And you go back here and that contract is right here. So it's a lot easier, a lot easier to sell it um, just with the click of a button. I have auto send on. You don't have to go through all that other stuff because when the market is moving really quickly, you need this quick access here to get rid of uh, the contract or to buy a contract, whatever you're doing. So that's just the way that I have it. It doesn't mean that you have to set it up this way. This is just really clean for me uh, to look at. 
And, um, you know, like I said, Fed rate decision reverses, comes back down, tests those lows, tests the lows here. All right. So if this breaks down even further, then you have a different situation. All right. If it doesn't, then you're just in this range waiting for Powell to stop speaking. And then maybe you'll get that trend um, in one direction. Right now, up, I mean, down, up, down. That's where we're at right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, very small winner, but percentage wise, you're over 100% there. I'll take that gain on capital any day. All right, hit the thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.